To get uh, The Greatest Showman greenlit, we had to get everyone into New York City to hear a read-through, where we'd read through the script and sing it. We needed the Fox executives, we needed Hugh, we needed the producers, and it took eight months to get everyone in the room. <laughs> and, and once uh, we managed to get this date, uh, Hugh calls me the day before and says that I had just had a skin cancer cut out of my nose. Uh, all was fine. I knew you were worried about that. <laughs> Uh, but I had 80 stitches in my nose and uh, my doctor said, you're not allowed to sing. I said to Hugh, who have you told? Because you cannot tell anyone because no one is flying to New York City to hear you not sing a musical. Which was a good advice. So the next day, everyone arrives and I get there and I explain to everyone why I wasn't singing. I also explained, this was Michael's suggestion, a good one, that I should stand just to be clear to everyone that I will be singing on the day and gesticulate and, and of course, act all the scenes. And you did, uh, yeah. so to, to, to Hugh's credit, he did that for every single number. He stood up there, he, he was the great showman until <laughs> one number. Hey. 